Hi everyone this is Asha and welcome to my channel Asha Talks Today we are doing road trip from Chennai to Kothagiri In this video I am going to show you what we did in Kothagiri in 2 days Ooty Kothagiri and Kunur are the three major hill stations located in Nilgiris but out of these three hill stations Kothagiri is more peaceful beautiful and often called as Switzerland of South India Before you see our journey please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you won't miss my upcoming video notifications We started our journey at around 5:30 in the morning road journeys are always beautiful what do you say It was so sunny till now but climate has changed drastically once we entered the Nilgiri mountains it became so cloudy When we are about to enter Kothagiri we started seeing these beautiful tea plantations People say best season to visit Kothagiri is between December to May If you ask me winter months are perfect that is from November to January as we can experience misty mountains and chill climate We reached Kothagiri at around 2:30 pm we directly went to our resort for having lunch This is where we have stayed for 2 days in Kothagiri. The detailed review about this resort I will shortly upload as a video in YouTube. Kothagiri is a hill station where we have less places to visit but more things to do which keeps us close to the nature. I suggest you plan your stay in mid of tea plantations as we did so that you will have a wonderful experience. As we were tired due to our journey on day 1 we just went for evening breezy walk. through the estates just outside our resort look at the wind that is blowing onto my face i am not even able to open my eyes At night resort people had arranged for campfire which is must during winter season campfire under this full moon what else i can ask for we had dinner at this lovely site on day 2 we woke up early at 6 am and went for morning walk outside our resort to experience the misty mountain views How many ever times we see also tea plantations will never bore us It was such a pleasant experience walking by side of this marvelous views I was surprised to see these women going for plucking tea leaves so early. After our morning walk, we got ready for the long day and had our breakfast. Started our journey to Catherine Waterfalls at around 9 a.m. Crowd will increase at Catherine Waterfalls as time passes, so it is good if you start early to have the best experience. We parked our car here. There are two sightseeing places. One is Catherine Falls viewpoint where we can see the falls from the very long distance, and another one is where we can see the Catherine waterfalls directly. Firstly, we went to viewpoint by walking through this way. It is just a 10 minutes walk to reach the viewpoint.
see this fencing once you reach the top. In the mid of these mountains, if you closely observe, we can see waterfalls. Look at the mist covering up the mountains gradually. It is so beautiful to watch. This is the path to reach waterfalls and we have to walk for 25 minutes in this way. Look at the beautiful views across the path which makes us to forget time. I feel people living here are so lucky as they can see these views daily. There is a diversion ahead to go to the waterfalls. At this place, we need to take the down path as pointed by me. If we go in the above path, we can see spectacular views which I'll be showing you later on. The last 5 minutes road will be narrow, rough and slippery. It is good if you wear shoes to get good grip. So finally, we reach this beautiful waterfall. People go down there to take bath but we didn't go as we have to cover other places after this. Water is so cold, once I put my foot inside the water, it's kind of rejuvenated feeling. There were many people coming down to see the waterfall when we are heading back. Now we took the other part of the deviation just to see the spectacular views. Now we are heading back to Kotagiri and from there we went to Kodanad viewpoint. Hill stations always offer magical mountain views. Road journey on our own vehicle gives us freedom to stop at all these mountain views which are worth watching just like any other sightseeing place. I have captured some of the spectacular mountain views on my way which I will show you in this video. We have stopped at this place where some people are plucking the tea leaves. Look at that small beautiful pond over there. I can see some people playing football over there. It feels so good to see everything from a top view.
On our way, we have seen these eucalyptus trees. Believe me, they have added more charm to the road. This light green and dark green patches together look so beautiful. This spot looks so amazing with one side houses and another side step forming. We can see different patches of green tea plantations over here, which looks simply superb. Oh, what a color combination! It's so awesome. We finally reached Kodanad Viewpoint Parking, just 2 minutes walk from the parking to reach the place. When we went, mist has totally covered the viewpoint, so we couldn't see the clear view. What we saw, I captured it for you. On the first floor of this building, we can see the view using telescope. But due to COVID, as of now that facility is closed. That's all about our trip. If you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.